Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this channel, first subscribe. All right, I'm going to do a quick review. I'm going to take it out the package, and I'm going to also uh, cut with it. It's this Porter Torch Kit and Oxygen Accelerant. I keep all this stuff around the house. You never know when you might need it, because if you call a welder or somebody to do something for you, uh, they're going to charge you two, three hundred dollars. But uh, if you want to purchase one of these, just look in the description below. There's many different types. They all work pretty much the same. You could pay $150. You could pay up to $1,000 for one of these. But I'll put a link in the description below. But what this kit comes with, you know, you got your holes, 360. You got some goggles, and it comes with a mixer. It comes with the striker. You got your bottle, acetylene bottle, and you got your oxygen bottle. So it comes with everything. The only thing you need is just a pair of pliers. As you can see, it comes with everything you need. It's really simple. Uh, and there's a lot of videos on uh, out there on how to put these together. I won't waste no time showing you how to do that. It's really, really simple way. I've been doing this for 30 some years, so it's second nature. But uh, as you can see, it comes with all of this stuff and I'm putting it on. And once you put everything on, you probably want to do a little leak test. Just get some soap and water. And these box in this kit, these bottles are empty. You don't, uh, the bottles are empty, so you have to go to a welding supply and just exchange them. For the acetylene, it cost me like $17, that's including tax. And for the oxygen, it was like $9. So you end up paying $30 to exchange the kits. So you're gonna pay for this right here, and the, like I said, the cylinders are empty. So you're gonna have to go to a welding supply to exchange them or get them filled. And it's gonna cost you about $30. And see, I went and got an exchange right there. I got the bottles. I got me a full bottle of oxygen and a full bottle of acetylene. And we're going to go through this together. I'm going to just put my oxygen on right there. And this is a... Uh, oh, so you don't have to tighten this stuff up too tight. Just snug it a little bit. And then we're going to put our acetylene on. And acetylene is dangerous gas. So watch how you store it and don't lay it on the side. Keep it upright. So make sure everything's tight. And like I said, you can do a leak test. Just get some soap and water once you get everything on. All right, we're going to turn the oxygen on. And you want to backseat it. When I say backseat it, that's turning it all the way on. Then you want to turn your acetylene on. And turn this stuff on slowly, your oxygen and acetylene. You don't want to damage your uh, regulators. So you turn it on. On the acetylene, you don't want to turn it all the way on. You want about a turn and a half. That's in case you have a problem, you can turn it off really quick. So you, you see how I turn my oxygen on and on my acetylene, I'm regulating it. You don't want no more than 15 PSI. So you're going to run by 5 PSI. Then on your oxygen, you're going to run by 20 and like I said, on the acetylene, you don't want no more than 15 PSI. So about five is good. I haven't did this in a while, so excuse the old man. <laughs> so I'm going to get down here and just do a little sample cut here. I'm cutting this back end of my trailer off because whenever I go over something, a hump, it drags. So I'm going to just cut a little piece and just show you how this thing works. I ain't shaking too bad. I haven't did this in a while. Um, we could just cut this little piece off right here. This torch works really good. For the price, uh, Like I like to keep a little stuff around the house because you never know when you have to do some things yourself. Especially during this pandemic, you can't get nobody to do anything. People don't want to work anymore. 
So I'm glad I have this welding skill to know how to do a few things and my channel, if you watch it, you subscribe to my channel. It's a lot of things I do. I, I probably could cook better than I can weld and cut. So I'm just cutting this off. Like I said, if I take this to a shop, just trying to get somebody to do this for me, um, they probably gonna charge me maybe two, three hundred dollars. And it only takes about maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most. And I asked the guy that sold me the cylinders, he said you probably could cut for about 30 minutes straight before you run out of gas. So you can make a lot of cuts with these little cylinders. And as you can see, I'm just cutting this straight across. And this thing works really well. Like I said, there's a lot of videos on out there on how to use torches. Now if you want to purchase any of this stuff, uh, equipment, just look in the description below. I also put it in the comment. And if you have any questions on this torch, just leave a comment below. A lot of people will answer those comments for me. Especially a lot of welders and uh, inspectors out there. If they're watching this video, they, they answer these questions for you. We're going to go ahead and shut this thing down in the proper way to shut this down. First, you want to turn off your oxygen. Then slowly turn off your gas. And the reason why I slowly turn off the gas, if it's still got gas coming out, that means you got a slow leak. So turn everything off and that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications and share this video. Also leave comments. Thanks for watching, welding and stuff.